What's up, my battalion? So a lot of you request how to like, you know, put up this emulator because a lot of you want to play on an emulator and I guess I have to show you how to do it. In the description below, there should be instructions on how to download and install the programs needed for the emulator. So by following the first link, we'll be led into the website. So just download memory right here and yeah. So step two, you need to download Lollipop. And if you just follow the link below, um, you can just download it. Alright, so step three, you have to download Mutant. So Mutant is a file, like, it's a file, it's, it's like a profile for the emulator, which has, like, special needs to get around the Fire Emblem Heroes errors and stuff like that, so just download that. Alright, so once everything's downloaded, install Memu. Right after that, you need to install Lollipop. Alright, so once Lollipop is installed, open up Lollipop and press import. And now search for where you have downloaded Mutant. Alright, so Lollipop should look like this now and you should just press start. If you get a message asking you to change something in your bio, please do it because it will make everything a lot easier for you. Alright, so your screen should look like this now. So head over to the right side and you should see a little gear. That's the settings. So I want you to click that and there should be an advanced tab. Click on that and you should be able to see the IMEI. And just generate a new set of numbers for that and generate a new phone number as well. And then just save that and restart. So the next step is to head into the settings inside the application and scroll down till you reach date and time. In here you will see that the automatic date and time is checked. Uncheck this. Next is to change the time zones. Choosing whatever time zone is fine but sometimes there is a unexplained error that could happen and changing that time zone to anything else works. And the Time zone I picked is Sydney and that hasn't really affected anything else so far, so there you go. Alright, once that's all done, go into the main menu, home screen, and click on QApp, which is located next to the settings. Inside the app, you'll be greeted with a message, just ignore it and move on. On this screen here, you want to click on the QApps icon, which is located on the top left. It brings you to this screen which has the search button and all you need to do is just search Fire Emblem Heroes and just install. Once that's all done, just open the app and you're good to go. If there's any errors or problems that you face, just leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can help. And it's over.